Okay, so I already did my eyebrows off camera and also moisturized my face. And now I'm just going to move on to priming my eyelids with the Camouflage Invisible Foundation from Hard Candy. And I like to blend this in with my fingers just because it's easier for me. Now I'm just going to set my eyelids with the Airspun Powder and Translucent. And I like to add a decent amount to the eyelid just because later on it helps me blend in my eyeshadows. And now I'm just going in with the Nudes palette from Maybelline. And I'm taking this first shade for my transition color. And I'm just being messy with this color because it's just for transition. So it doesn't really matter where you place it. Now I'm just going in and doing the same thing to the other eye. Now I'm going in with the Fit Me powder in the color 355 Coconut and I'm just placing that in the crease. I am taking that color and placing it from the inside of the crease all the way to the outside of the crease. Now I am taking a slightly darker color and I am placing that just on the outside of the eyelid and I am doing uh, a patting motion and also light wiping it. I'm doing the patting motion just so I can deposit the color and then I am blending it out. You guys can choose how dark you want to go in with each of the colors. Um, I went kind of, uh, kind of medium darkish, but not so dark. Now I'm just adding a little bit more of that color to each eye. And then I'm going in again with that bronzer powder and I am blending out the edges only. And then I am also uh, taking that same brush with no extra product on it and I am blending it in all together, lightly. And now I am moving on to priming my face with the NYX, uh, I think it's the matte one because I have oily skin. And then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Desert Beige. And this foundation is cruelty free, if you guys were wondering.
and accidentally got it all over my hair. It always happens. And I don't know what I was singing, but I was getting really into it. And I'm using this uh, Real Technique sponge. I usually wet it first. And I am just patting that in. It's good to just pat in your foundation when you're using a sponge and not like wiping it. It just gives a better finish. And I'm about to speed this process up in just a second. <laughs> Super Blendable Concealer in W123 and a little bit of this goes a long way so I'm just going on the sides of my nose and on the inner parts of my eyes and on my forehead and also on the bridge of my nose sponge only on the tip side it's really good because um, on the tip side it gets really into those hard places to get and I'm just gonna spin set my face only on the highlighted areas with the air spun powder and I'm using the same sponge and in a second you'll be seeing me add a lot of powder to my face and that is only because I am really oily and this just helps me control all the oils. If you are not oily, you do not have to add this much powder. blend in a little bit and now I'm just going to contour my nose with the NYX powder blush in the color taupe and I go under my nose just to shorten my nose and I'm just gonna get this nose snatched 
because who doesn't like a snatched nose? So I am just doing two lines on the sides of my nose and then I'm just going to blend them downwards in a second. I need to stop singing and I need a contour. Okay, so now you're seeing me blend that downwards. And I don't know why I do this little line. It's weird. I just do it out of... I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm just cleaning up the sides of my nose with the Infallible Pro Map 16 Hour Powder from L'Oreal in the color 300 Nude Beige. And then I'm just going to blend that in with the contoured lines, just so it doesn't look really harsh. Now I'm taking that same powder and I'm going to run it across where I contoured my nose lightly just to add back some color. <laughs> I'm going in with that same powder and I am going to contour my face. And the way I contour is for the shape of my face since I have like a round um, face, I only contour the sides of my face, like around the jawline and on my temples and obviously my cheekbones, but I don't contour like on my forehead and stuff. Also. taking the LA Colors liquid eyeliner in black and I'm doing a wing because who doesn't like a wing? <laughs>
so believe it or not this is a eyeshadow and it's from the brand Bitsy and you can find this at um, your local Sally Beauty supply and I just love it because it's just it's so great and I'm taking a little bit on my index finger and I am highlighting my nose Like seriously, you guys need to pick this up. And I am also going to highlight my brow bone with this. And now I'm just prepping my eyelashes with some mascara. I'm adding some dual lash glue and I'm just setting them aside while they get tacky. And now I'm just lining my lips with the Jordana lip. A pencil in the color pink love and you can find Jordana products at um, Walgreens and now I'm going with the NYX uh, cream cream something I don't know it rubbed off and I don't even have the color anymore but I will have it down in the description box. And now I'm just adding my eyelashes. Uh, if you want to see how I customize my eyelashes, uh, just let me know in the comment section. I'm putting on the other one. If it could just stick. <laughs> and then I'm going again with that powder and I am just running this on my lower lash line and I'm not adding um, mascara on my lower lash line just for this look just because I didn't want to but you guys can. look I just sprayed some um, Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and this is the first lip color just because nude lips go with any look I think and then I am just giving you two other choices and these are also Bitsy brand and this is like a maroon color I really really love this color it kind of matches my hair. And now for the star of the video, <laughs> this black color. That first swatch was really funny to me. And now I'm just gonna go in and finish my lips. And thank you for watching and tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed this work.